Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I'm going to create a wedding card and I'm going to use products from the latest release by Simon Says Stamp. The release is called Cherished and it has beautiful designs of stamps, stencils and uh, lots and lots of products. I am going to show you a few here but I will put them into use in future videos. So for today I will be using the stencil and I'm going to show you how you can create a beautiful and elegant card. And look how pretty and elegant this stencil looks. I think that's perfect for uh, creating a wedding card. So I'm working with a cream uh, paper here and this is going to be my card base. I have cut it uh, to be five and a half. I'm going to score it in half. And then I have my card base, which is going to be a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. Now the design that I'm going for today is going to be very monochromatic and um, it's really versatile. You can use it either for a wedding card or for an anniversary card. So I have my card uh, base scored and ready to go. Now from the rest of that uh, paper I'm going to cut out a rectangle. So for that I'm going to use a die and this is a Simon's Stamp uh, rectangle die that has a beautiful stitching all around. I'm going to secure it in place with a piece of post-it tape and then I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine. This is going to ensure that I have a perfect rectangle and at the same time I, it's going to be slightly smaller than the standard card. And I always like to stick panels on top of my card bases that are slightly smaller so I get a nice border all around my panel and uh, this gives a really finished look. Now these are border uh, dies by Simon Says Stamp. They are again from the latest release. You will find links down below to everything I'm using on this video. I'm going to select one of them and you can see the designs here. They give a beautiful scalloped edge and uh, a stitching all around. So I am going to place it at the bottom of my panel. I'm going to secure it with some post-it tape and I also made sure that it's nice and straight. I just used the grid on of my mat just to make sure that it's uh, perfectly straight. Now I'm going to run it through my Sizzix machine and I'm not going to throw away the scrap. You will see how I'm going to use it later on. Now I have placed my panel on top of a scrap paper and I'm going to secure it down with some masking tape. As I am sticking the masking tape I am making sure that I go just outside the stitching lines that are already there from my die. Which is going to make sure that I have a nice very thin border all around. I am planning to use my spatula and apply some paste over the stencil onto my panel and I just want to make sure that everything is going to look neat at the edges. Now for the bottom of my panel, just because I don't want to cover up that uh, scalloped edge as well as the stitching that my die gave me, I'm going to use the scrub from uh, that panel and I'm going to slide it slightly to the top just to make sure that I have covered up the stitching lines. So this way I'm not going to, to lose that detail. So I'm, again I'm uh, using lots of masking tape just to make sure that everything is going to be nice and neat and uh, now I'm going to place the stencil on top. I am going to make sure that I place the stencil nice and straight at the center of my card and again I'm going to use more masking tape to make sure that the stencil is uh, nicely stuck down. To go over my stencil I'm going to use this uh, Nuvo Glimmer Paste. It has a, a beautiful shine, it's uh, full of glitter inside and um, the color I'm using is the Moonstone. I really love this one, I use it again and again and as you can see I'm running out, I really need to restock. I am applying the paste with the back of my spatula, I'm making sure that I cover up everything and also I am uh, going uh, slowly making sure that I don't lift the stencil since I want to have a nice and neat uh, result. And now for the fun part where I peel off the stencil and see what's underneath. And this came out so pretty, I'm going to make a close-up look so you can see how beautiful it looks and it's so shiny. Now I need to leave that uh, panel to side and uh, let it dry. And I think it took about 10 minutes to dry, but uh, you can also use your uh, heat gun to speed up the drying process. And it really depends on how thick a layer of paste you have applied. Now I will go ahead and uh, stamp my sentiment, so I'm now going to work on my card base and I'm using the new stamp set by Simon Says Stamp. 
And I have chosen uh, three different uh, uh, stamps from this set. The one that says always, the little heart and the word forever. So I'm going to place them in a row. And I'm uh, going for an embossed sentiment. So I'm using my Versa marking there. I'm going to stamp my sentiment. And this is going to be at the very bottom of my card. Just uh, making sure that I have applied enough. And just to be safe, I stamped once more. Well, that's the beauty of using a Misty. Now I'm going to apply my embossing powder. And I'm using this embossing powder that is called Champagne. And it comes from a, an embossing set by Stampendus. I am going to link you down below to this one. I think it's the perfect color for wedding cards because it's not um, gold, it's not silver, it's something in between. So anyway, uh, now all I have to do is to stick the panel on top, but just to make it more interesting, I decided to add a ribbon as well as a little bow. And to make everything look nice and neat, I am cheating here. So instead of tying a bow directly on the panel, I am just going to stick the ribbon, secure it at the back. I have a little bit of uh, adhesive tape at the back. And then, as you can see, I have already tied my bow. And then I'm going to stick that on top of uh, my other ribbon with some glue dots at the back. So my panel is ready to go. Now all I have to do is to stick it on top of my card base. Just to add a little bit of dimension, I have added some foam tape at the back. And I'm going to place it down, making sure that everything is nice and straight. Now the same design would look really pretty if you worked on white cardstock with silver or gold embossing paste and of course change the color of the sentiment accordingly. And that was the card for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired and if you did don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Don't forget that there is a list of supplies down below in the description area on YouTube as well as on my blog. And if you need more inspiration, click on any of these two videos. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure to do so, because this is the way to tell me that you love my videos and you want to see more. Thank you all for watching!